Hey guys, Bing here. Um, recently I saw this image on Reddit. Um, quite interesting. So today let's model it. So first, uh, let's create a project and place a reference plan and I'll name it uh, 1. So now go to Sol Elevation and then create a model in place and mess and OK and OK. So first, uh, reference sign and pick the reference plan, reference plan 1 and OK. So now select this spline through points and then we're going to uh, draw the shape of this uh, this uh, this structure. So let me guess maybe around a seven meter a meter. So I'll start from here up up here something like this. Yes, this. Yes. Okay. So yeah, you can always select the point and use your keyboard to adjust adjust the shape until you're happy with. And try to yeah just make it straight at the end point roughly like this I think. So now we can go to 3D view and so the next step is, is um, we're going to place a point draw on face and place it on the reference line and then we are going to place a, um, a profile on this point. Okay so. So point, draw on work plan, set work plan, and pick the um, tab, pick this work plan, and place it on this point, and OK. So now select, select this point and drag it so this way. And then the, so this offset, let's call it offset, um, offset, offset 1, OK? offset 1. So this will be the half width of that profile. So then place another point and same place it in a point then drag it uh, the other way. So this one will be negative offset 1. So I'll call it offset 1 negative and OK and OK. So go to family types offset 1 negative equals negative offset 1 and OK. So now another point, uh, draw on work plan, set work plan. This time, pick the vertical. See this this vertical work plan? Yeah. So pick this one and place it on this point. OK. And and then drag it this way. So this will be the same as this this offset. So it will be offset one. OK. So another point, draw set work plan and set uh, place it. OK, so drag it this way. So this one will be negative offset 1. So another one, set open. And where am I? Yeah, here. So place it. OK, and then drag it this way. So this is offset 1 and OK. Another point, draw on uh, plan, set open, and place it on plan and drag it this way. So this one will be negative offset 1. So now we have full point and we can create a square shape for the profile but um, um, I'm going to create an, another full point to instead of have straight line I'm going to create an arc. Okay so I'll explain to you later so why I'm going to do like this. So Point, join work plan, set work plan for this side. I'm going to pick the pick this work plan. So see this one? Tab, tab, yeah, this one, and place it here. And then I'll drag this up here. So this one will be uh, offset two, but it's negative. So I'll call it all F2 negative and OK and OK. So another one set tab tab and click and place it and OK so this time drag it this way this one will be offset 2 so I'll call it offset 2 and go to family types offset 2 so offset 2 negative equals negative offset 2 so, OK so now we need 
a point here. Okay, so um, what we need is point set draw on work plan, set work plan, pick the vertical work plan, so this one, and place it on this point, and OK, and drag it this one, this way. So this this one will be offset three, which will equals offset one plus offset offset two. Okay, so create a new offset. So this is offset three. Okay, and go to family types. Offset offset three equals offset one plus offset two. And okay. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> PF offset. And okay. So another one set pick the vertical work plan and and play place it here and okay so then drag it this way so this one will be negative offset 3 okay so create a new parameter or call it of 3 negative and okay and okay so go to family types offset 3 equals negative offset 3 and okay so now we have all the points we need, we can uh, duplicate them. So select all these points, CC, and place it here. And actually, I'm going to copy a few, four, so totally uh, four of them. So copy another three. And select the middle point, pick new holes, and place it on this point. So select the middle point, pick new holes, and place it on the reference line. Repeat, pick new host in here. So now I'm going to uh, place the point along the this reference line. So first one, I'm going to change this to zero. The last one, I'm going to change it to one. And the, the middle ones, um, so for this one, I'm going to change it to 0 0.667. And this one will be 0 0.333. So now we can connect all the points and create the reference line for the um, profile. So this will take a little bit of time. So if you um, if you need a coffee, you can just go make co coffee for yourself. Or yep. So uh, yep. <laughs> Spline reference line. Spline reference line. Spline reference line. Spline reference line. And also, yeah, maybe I'll explain why I didn't, um, why I didn't create all the reference line and copy them. Because I found that um, if you create the reference line and copy them and try to pick the new host to, uh, and sometimes it won't work. Sometimes the reference line will not move with the point when you place new host. So that's why I keep. Uh, I only keep the. I only keep the points when I only copy the points when I try to you know copy and paste then yeah that's why so you can have a try yourself sometimes it works but sometimes it won't work so that's why so now we have the full profile so and we can select them and also the profile or oh, sorry also the sweep uh, path and then create form. So maybe I'll give it a material so you can see it. Maybe a green color. SD. Yeah. So this is the, the mass. Okay. So now we need to twist it. So I'm going to select. See this point? Oh, not this one. So make sure you pick the right, the correct one. So this one. This is the one we place the profile on. So I'm going to create an angle parameter for the rotation angle. So I'll call it A1 and maybe instance. And then this one. Oh, hang on. Should be a small point there. 
I'll just double check. I'll check. Uh, if, yeah, actually, because actually, there's another point. So this is the one we uh, to control the pro the 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 sweep the uh, the path, and this the small the one is the one we use to control the rotation angle. So make sure you select the correct point and then create a two instance. Okay, okay. And then this one, so there will be another one here. So click it if you see it. This uh, work plan. So and with this little uh, what's that called? Uh, that's a correct one. And also you will see that's a rotation angle here. So you can add a parameter to it, a three. And okay. Oh sorry. I think I I create it as a type. That should be fine. I'll change it to instance to keep it consistent. Okay, so now let's go to family types and A1, A2, A3. Let's change this one. A1, change it to 90, 90 degree, 180 to 70. So apply. Yeah, that's it. So and now I, I'm, I'm going to explain to you why I make this profile. Uh, use all the arc instead of straight line so if I change the offset to which is the offset from this line to the this point to um, to maybe one apply and you will see this is the shape we, we have it's it you know you see this curve um, Actually, I'm not quite sure. That looks like a straight instead of, you know, like a curve. So that's why I, uh, if see, this is the one without. So with the square shape profile. But if I add a little bit of uh, maybe 200. So yeah if I add a little bit curve into the profile you will see the result will be more like straight uh, yeah maybe I'll change it back a little bit 150 maybe oh sorry 150 oh 150 yeah apply yeah so I think that's still um, a little bit curve but uh, I think that's that that's, looks okay maybe 180 you can always adjust them and also when you change the offset one which is the the uh, the width and you need to adjust the uh, adjust them again so i'll maybe turn 2100 yeah so looks like you need to uh, increase the offset too as well there will be some you know relationship in them so maybe you can uh, add a formula to it but i think that's 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 it um yeah it looks like that we can reduce the rotation angle here and you can always remember you can always add more because currently we have one two three four four profile for um for this shape you can add more so you can uh more easier to control the shape Okay, so you can copy that and place it on the profile or on the uh, on the sweep and then on the reference line. Sorry, uh, and then you can yeah easier just uh, just create more uh, angular parameter to adjust them. So that's it. So once I finish this one, uh, let me finish this mass. So this is the mass we have. Okay, so because we are country, we uh, in the in the project, so we can create wall, uh, wall by face, and then you can pick the face. Uh, actually, let me control Z. I'll change. I'll just pick the. Um, I'll just use this wall, brick wall. So one, two, and three. Oh hell, where where which one? Four. Uh how to not right, it's okay. Did I miss one? Yeah, it's a little bit hard to see. Maybe I'll hide this mess. So H H 
uh, um, I missed one, sorry. I'll pick, uh, place another one here. And OK. So now uh, I can turn off the mask. I can go uh, side and click this one. It's still there, VV. And uncheck the mask. OK, so now only the brick. And then look and also um, look at the pattern. Maybe we want to rotate them. So simply tab, select one of the uh, pattern line, RO, I believe 90 degrees. So tab, RO, 90 degree. So this one's fine, this one's fine. This one, tab, tab, RO, 90 degree. Looks like there are two balls here. See, I'll delete one. Yep. So tab, RO, 90 degree. So last one, tab, RO, 90 degree. So yeah, that's it. Um, that's the the one, the uh, twisted brick uh, arc structure. Okay, so if you have any question, let me know. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.